It is a very fine Thursday morning today, the 7th of October 2021. A very good morning to you. My name is Ram Maguko. And as always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. This is Power Talk. And uh, I want to appreciate you for being part of this show. Make sure that you stick around for uh, you know uh, what we have uh, lined up for you today on this particular uh, uh, conversation. We are coming to you live from the Broadcasting House here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live on our website at www.kenya.com abc.co.ke forward slash y254 engage with us the social social a show show the social media handles are at rama google and white for channel the hashtag is power talk show today we want to talk about gambling youth and gambling now gambling has been an issue that has taken us by storm so many of us do it it can be for fun at, uh, you know at, at start uh, in the first instances it always starts as fun but at some point as you proceed you end up losing money people have ended up you know get, being in conflict with one another what on a cosana because of gambling how can we handle this particular issue today let's empower you when it comes to gambling and in studio i'm joined by none other to my extreme right by anthony njanga yes he is a counseling psychologist. Yes. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. It's, it's always a pleasure to be here. Ah, it is. The and pleasure is all mine, my brother. I'm looking forward to today's conversation, which yeah. is gambling. Because there's uh -huh. issue in a in affect what I'm In affect what I'm saying. People gamble, yeah? Sana, tena. Hey, at a school fees. Not just school fees. Sana gamble, had the rent. Had the rent. I'm also joined by none other than uh, uh, Daniel Kibert. He is a managing director at Aberison Investments Limited. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, salama. Salama, uh, Karibu sana. Asante sana. Very 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 cool guy. Akenyamaza lakini kitu iko hapa ndani. And you ensure that you engage with us. What do you think about gambling? Youth and gambling. How can we stop it? Are you an are you addicted to gambling? You can give us your story. Head over to Facebook and uh, comment on our Facebook page. That, that is at Y254. Drop in your comments as you can continue with this conversation. I shall sample a few of your comments towards the tail end of this particular show, even in the middle. Uh, also, ensure that you tell us where you're watching us from. This is Power Talk. Let's talk. Let me yeah. start with you, Anthony. Uh -huh. Gambling. Well, and... <laughs> um, before the show, mm. I was uh, uh, trying to look at the numbers and I realized that actually gambling affects families. Yes. I was looking at the rate of divorce cases. I realized mm. people even get divorced because of gambling. gambling exactly. And it has so many, so many uh, diverse effects. Yeah. But I wanted to start this conversation from the beginning. Mm. What is it that you feel pushes people towards gambling? Uh, what I can say, Ram, thank you so much for that question. What, what pushes people to gambling is number one, financial pressure. Yeah. Mtu time ya COVID, Ram, watu wame lose jobs. You understand? Yeah. So mtu wana feel, sasa jusina kazi, why don't I go to that to this website, eh? uh, nitafute link. Let's yeah. say, for example, nianze kugamble ama ku bet on football. Mm -hmm. The people who have relied on gambling to be their source of finance. People are even quitting jobs. They come aside us Yes. What want to quit job? Mtu wame ajiriwa na lipo 30,000, lakini yeah may choose to gamble. So wana resign job, ndo wana gamble. My youth wana to a school fees mm -hmm. to gamble. So what pushes people to gamble? Number one, the main thing I can say is financial issue. And, 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 and even as you talk about this, I want also the parents to engage with us. Yes. Are you a parent? You know, I, I, I'm sure you have a problem with with maybe your son or your daughter who is gambling. Tell us your thoughts about it and your experience, even as you continue this conversation. So you're saying one particular reason why people gamble is because of lack of money. Yes. They need money. They need money. And they don't know how to get how it. How to get it. Dan. Yes, yes. In your view, what pushes people towards uh, gambling? Uh, for me, I think it's a way of earning a living. That's <laughs> the reason why people uh, tend to do gambling. Because... Uh, yeah. I really like comparing gambling to like forex, like the way you do forex uh, markets, share market, and all that. Mm -hmm. It's the same way you do gambling. Yeah. The difference is uh, gambling has different perspective from forex. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think the reason why people go into gambling is as a way of earning a living. Oh, yes. Now you forex, but then forex, you are a The key part of this is the same as gambling. Is it, it, yes, it's only that people never come out, out loud and say how they lose money. Yes. But as we sit here right now, uh -huh. there's someone who has lo lost even 200 million. 
ina second unajua forex talking of forex mimi nimefanya forex round yes. yeah. nimefanya forex na nilitoka niliacha juu ni lose pesa is it is it is, 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 is it gambling it's like gambling it's almost no, like if gambling. you don't understand if you say like is if it? you don't understand come on unajua forex yes if you don't understand the gimmicks yes. of how to invest then when to stop there's something known as stop loss mm. and all that mm. if you don't understand when should this forex exchange stop when should I, should I stop investing into the forex market mm. then you lose money anytime people have lost 100,000 round na forex understand there's something known as candlesticks if you don't understand how to read at what point should I say invest yeah. should yeah. I buy the dollar at what point should I buy the euro kuna ile kitu yenye nakimbia ikienda juu ikienda chini at what point do you hit it's the same way and also, same thing. yeah gambling is the same thing yes. if you don't understand for example if there's a game between man united and arsenal mm. number one, if you're investing in that thing you yeah. need to understand the past history of man united, man united exactly. and arsenal exactly yes how many encounters have they met mm. uh, at what point did man united win yes. at what point did arsenal win eh. number two, understand right now what is the squad that is playing yes yeah. is ronaldo playing with when he was playing during that time when mm. he was in mm. man united yeah, yeah. Did he score mm. against Arsenal? So mm. right now he's there. There's chances that he'll score. He give ni ni car sit down and internalize a lot of ni car research people ingine. Awezi awezi anza at useme kama Rama ni bet ya, ya football. When the two useme mimi nataka kuanza ku bet football. Ni wekele tu bet. You know for sure and that's what most youths are, are doing right now. They don't research on those football matches that they do. But there are people who are living from that. Yes. There's someone who right now as uh, the tennis normally happen in the morning. Yeah. So people normally bet tennis during the morning. Mm. So there are people who have invested right now and someone has had 200,000 while just sitting and even sleeping. Because number one, he researched critically mm. on what he's investing. Just g- gambled on one thing, on one match. And de- then invested heavily on that match. You, you, you tried uh, trading? Forex. Yes, I did, I did trading last uh, 2019. Nilifanya, nilienda kwanza training from May, nilifunza from May to around September. Then nika, I, I got my account nikaanza kuwekelea uh, nilianza na 20000 kakunywa maji itakunywa itakunywa by the way people watu wana lose pesa itakunywa itakunywa number one in forex when you are told that when you do trading eh. you given a demo account mm, mm, that demo mm. account you need to trade with it at least like six months yes you do six. dummy yeah you do dummy, dummy currency So you see within that dummy currency uh, how am I thriving in it? Na sio kitu just just una hit tu unangoje after kaita shuka no they have even accounts that uh, they have something known as algorithms mm-hmm. so they can yeah. trade on your behalf. Yeah. So you come up with the algos that if something like this happen ekelea pesa. If something like this doesn't happen acha kuekelea pesa. Ukiona ni lose 20,000 stop it. <laughs> yeah. You know Gambling. <laughs> so gambling, <laughs> gambling me for me I always look it at a, as a form of investment. Mm. It depends from what perspective you you Na, think. So would you encourage people to gamble when you do proper research? Anthony, would you encourage people to gamble? Uh, it depends on someone. Siezi ku encourage it, it all depends on you. Kama wewe vinya mesema if you've done proper research, don't yeah. do it just for recreational na ujui the history come and the football how do the history behind why you're placing this bet so are you saying people should not or people should people should have their own choice on whether to gamble or whether not to but they should get the effects of not no, gambling I, I there's someone who is watching you and attack and to no 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 let me tell you kama ni gamble ama ni si gamble ram unajua in a psychological view atuambia ange mtu kenya atafanya wewe ni mwewe ujue ukae chini uangalie the loss the effects ukilose pesa ama ukilose what effect will it have on you na ukigain how will it benefit you so it's upon you after you place zobi to chini usiende tu hapo na mind ya ku gamble na ujui what you doing first ekelea things hapo chini yeah. decide angalia the negative side of it and the positive side of it then decide kama if it is right for you to gamble yeah. na imekuendea vizuri then well and good if it is yeah. not well so ukiambia sana kianza kusema ati watu wa gamble ram Hmm. Kuna mtu mwenye anazasikia anasema huwa anasema ni mimi nimegamble for more than 10 years na ijai inisaidia. Ramu anasikia kuna vitu inaitwa squeeze kuna is it lotto? Yeah. 50 bob ama ni 90 bob yeah. unangojea una win sijui 300,000. Yeah. Yeah. Mtu amepata mshahara yake end month. Hii end month si tu, tuko the first weeks ya October. Yeah. The first ma- uh, weeks yeah. hizo days tuko date 7. Yeah. Mtu amepata mshahara yake 20 to 9th of September. By date 5 isha isha. Mm. Kwa sababu gani? Ameenda casino nimeisha at, at 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 what point would you say that uh, somebody is now 
addicted to gambling. At what point do yes. you con would you say that now he apple mm. is becoming an addiction? It is not longer a source of income. Yeah. It is now an addiction and it needs to stop. Uh, what I can say is this. At what point would you say it's an addiction is whereby umekelea let's say for example ni betting tutumie example ya betting ya football mm. umekelea betting na let's say for example between Manchester United and Chelsea umekelea let's say for example you betting with 500 eh? alafu uka lose sawa hiyo mm. hiyo aje ku lose ina, ina, ina kufanya ufeel hapana i need to i need to win this thing the next time unaekelea unapata loss the next time unaekelea so wewe una ile mindset ya risk taking unajua gambling you must be able to manage risk si si huyu jamaa he is saying that ah um ni mekeleyo 500 demand let me take another risk yes so continuously how how do we the risk which is take what what wengi by the way ram how do we the risk psychology behind gambling unafaa kuwa ready to take risk usiekelee pesa yako yote kama unajua hauna source unajua kitu tunaambia ngao say if uko hapo unalipwa mshahara ya 10000 usichukue 10000 yote uweke hapo kama ni ya familia inafaa kwenda kando chukua kama hata kama ni 2000 usemi hata kina loss ni sawa but watu wengi wanataka mimi sasa nimeona alafu pia na kujanga na pressure hawa say watu wako na pressure mingi sana you understand people have that pressure at ye siwekele pesa yako yote utapata do sasa ile aje eh alafu mtu anakuambia mimi nilielekea 100000 nikapata 300k anasikia mtu mwingine alielekea 20000 nakapata 40k sasa na wewe unasema nimepata mshahara wangu ya 10000 month hii month so acha nielekea yote na ikielekea yote ikiisha na ikiisha depression depression suicide the problem let me tell you in any business now being me, me being a businessman you can never have a 200% profit every time yes the normal profit curve in any business normally like 30% uh -huh. so if you see like every time i'm putting 10000 i'm earning 2 million mm -hmm. impossible take cautious. Mm -hmm. take cautious in that yeah it will never happen again yes. 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 you can't put 20 bob and expect to earn 200, 200 million yeah kuna hii jackpot jackpot na kwa 200 million yeah. to 30 million yeah. na unaekelea 20 yeah. that is very impossible number one, the more the matches the more the risk the higher chances of losing mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you do if you put uh, that 10000 yeah. in one match focus mm -hmm. on that one match yes and earn yourself another 15000 that 5000 extra is enough that's 50% profit mm -hmm. that's okay so that's okay that's fine that, should, should you stop The problem with youths and I always repeat is yeah. you want to gamble and come up with exorbitant profit. It will never happen in any business. Mm -hmm. It will never happen. You can't have 200% profit every day. But but now you, you're trying to get some money. Yes, yes. At what point should you now tell yourself and, and realize that it's becoming an addiction for me? When every time you are making irrational decisions like you are betting on 13 matches, mm -hmm. you're very sure you are losing yes. and you continue doing that. <laughs> <number> <laughs> Yeah. Number hey. two, <laughs> Number two, hey. uh, you can never survive without it. You have lost today 10 bob. Mm. Unaenda unaambia mamako, mam, eh sinipatie 10 bob. <laughs> kidogo kidogo napigia ram ram. Niaje bro? Nikopesha 50 bob. Uh -huh. Sio kwenda kunywa chai, ni akuwekele kwa beti. That's an addiction. Now you end up getting loans. Yes. yes. Unapata umekopesha hapa, umekopesha mm. pale, mm. umekopesha this mobile mom, lenders. Yes. yes yote mm. mshwari mm. bank yote imeenda yote imeenda kwa betting yes, yes. that is now an addiction yes. number, and then number two, betting on football for me is not a wrong thing mm. but on casinos lotto you know you're betting on uh, i call it hearses because mm. mm. if you've ever gone to casino if you've ever been there you just the games that you play you just press press buttons press press button and then ensure that three things align Yeah. And then it will give you an amount. Jackpot, yes. You know. Yeah. That now is yes. But football that's actual something that you are seeing. Mm. Some things there there are the other matches that have something known as match fixing. Mm -hmm. But there are others that especially big teams yeah. on very rare occasion will get match fixing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're getting. So if yeah. Ronaldo is, is meant to score, he will score. But on casino if you press these things and then three <laughs> birds align and then you get 50,000, yeah. now those are yes. Now that one is very risky. Very risky. Stop that. Kuna kuna hii you go to town I, 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 I'm sure if you are a true Kenyan. Mm. And I'm saying this very very I've said that those words. True Kenyan. Yes. Umewaya na town ukapata yule jamaa mwenye ako kwa meza anasema ndio hii iko hapa hivi iko hapa ndio hii imepotea ndio hii nimeona ndio hii iko hapa tafuta tafuta sasa ndio hii tafuta tafuta. 
Hapo na wana wana potaza pesa. pesa. Mm. There's no man was got arrested in that such a place. Ulikuwa na hizo vitu. Mimi nilienda I was in high school yeah. brother. Hey Ramba. High school. Hey. Mimi mimi sina ni mwanzo ni mwanzo ni mwanzo from four. Nataka kutafuta university. Ni nenda shule you know I'm sending those application letters. Mm-hmm. So I'm with my brown envelope mm-hmm. and then I meet these guys. And then I'm like I want to ndakula pesa yao. Ndakula mm. pesa yao. Pata mm. potea kadi. Pata mm. potea. Yeah. So I I go there and and, and there are so many. Yeah. There are so many and I have like a thousand shillings that I got from my dad. Yes, yes. Aliniambia shika hii mm. uende utembee 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 ukisikia nje at least urundwe kasoda. Yeah. Mm. Nikachukua 500. Yeah. Hivi. Yes. Nikaweka. Mhm. Kasema acha tujaribu. Mhm wakafanya ndio 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 iko wapi iko sawa unajua mimi macho yangu i'm following it so kill yes, yes. iko wapi mimi ndio hiyo imeana ndio hii i got 200 mm-hmm. now i have 700 yeah. <laughs> okay okay let's continue toje to le nikeka 1000 yes, yes. The, uh, the next mm-hmm. thing i know someone grabs me from the back nyinyi ndo mnaibia wa Kenya Karibu lale ndani baadaye Bali karibu lale ndani nimekaa pigu nikajipata hii police station hii hapa ya town Is it ah si central ingi ile huko chini Kabukuji But you tell people about you mambo ya kushika pata potea Ah mimi na Zambia watu bana hii ni pressure tu hii ni pressure umeona tu utaona na watu wame surround kisako kwanza hizi za unamtu watu wanaona watu hapa jivanji eh. watu wako wame surround kisako hapo alafu kati huyo wako katikati ni wanawafanyia mavitu ni pressure tu wanataka tu kujaribu but those things uh, rama can say kuna kuangana ile pressure yenye msema anataka tu ku try you 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 curious to know how these yeah, things yeah, work yeah. unajua acha ni kwambia rama unaona after that si ulifunguka macho kwa hizi vitu zi mimi nilipeleka kwa cell the, the only reason why Uka... waliniacha eh. nilisema i am a student <laughs> <laughs> lakini from that day did you ulipata na hiyo ukakelepa that's what i'm saying people learn from uh, situations kama hiyo una mm. learn from uli uli lose pesa yako mm. uki try something that ulikuwa unafikiria ni kitu itaku benefit but sasa unaona haikukuni haikuku but kuna watu wenye ina kuna watu wenye wako na bahati baada ya say it's a sure bad thing usiende na mindset ama ile mind ya ati unaenda ku bed ama unaenda kuwekele hiyo uh, patapotea hmm. utapata mm-hmm. ena na ile risk what if ni lose what will happen mm-hmm. ndio maana watu wengi ramu unapata mtu ako na pressure ako na stress anashindwa itakuwaaje unajua depression na inakosiwa anga na too much stress stress beyond extreme so mm-hmm. mtu ako na stress bana amekelea pesa yote bana ya school fees ya mtoto wake mm-hmm. unapata ndio maana fa, uh, family break break watu wana familia wanakosana kwa sababu baba aliyekelea pesa yote ya school fees ya mtoto so kuna kitu ram tunaita ya gambling it's called impulse control disorder ah, ah, okay let me let, let's touch on this when we started yes <laughs> we mentioned that uh, the one reason why people gamble yeah. is because of lack of money mm-hmm. poverty yes, yes. poverty mm. this is the reason why people get into gambling yes. you know how do you fight poverty and at the same time mm. you are trying to withhold yourself from gambling mm, i always say the more idol you are the more you do th- such things mm. if you are at home uh. for sure if you are getting into a betting site you know what internet is so there are things known as online jobs number one most people who gamble are university students mm. uh. number one they have the know how of how to operate an internet how mm. to oper- operate a computer how to yes. type yes there's online writing uh, they always say it's illegal but that one is better off than even gambling. Mm-hmm. A page you'll get like online 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 writing a page you'll be paid like 500. Mm-hmm. A page you'll mm-hmm. do eight pages a day 500 times 8. That's about 4000. 4000 yeah. That's good enough money to sustain you. If mm-hmm. you do each and every day mm-hmm. that you have enough money to cater for your rent, to cater for your fees and to cater for any other things that you want to do. Afadhali uende utafute kazi ya online writing ama ufanye something kuliko kugamble. No, I always say mm, you mm, can mm, do gambling. That's what you're saying. Proper research. Proper research, yes. Number two, don't take on too much. There's policy of life that is always mm. investments is always 25% of what you have. Poverty is a reason why people are like are, are gambling. It is. Huh? It is. But at the same time, you get big people. Mm. I had there was a senior governor who when sport pesa started He, he floated i think 2 million on spot pesa eh won it eventually but as a senior governor who number one has money he doesn't lack anything 
mm. but he gambled. Mm. So there's another reason. If you go to casinos, you'll get senior Chinese who are building these highways are there. Yeah. So they're not going there because they don't have money. Yeah. So what are the reasons do they they're have? They're going there for fun, number one, uh-huh. and also to uh, to earn more and feel the need of their own. There's recreational uh-huh. gambling, Ram. Uh-huh. Recreational gambling, ni like gambling for fun. And now when it gets to too extreme, it's extreme, it's a problem gambling. I don't know if lose the money casino. The money. Na bibi na watoto wako. Ana beti ya nyumba yake. Na bibi na watoto wako kwa hiyo nyumba. Alirudi nyumba. Na kaluzi nyumba. Sasa ni kama nyumba na bibi na watoto wako. Nyumba alikuwa nayo. Roja mwenye alilusi. You know. I can imagine. Yeah, so what you listen about? I had there is a this mtu alibet bibi yake. Watu wanabet hadi watoto. Gambling is funny. Gambling is funny. Yes, is <laughs> is poverty, yes. but there's recreation. There's also the need of feeling you have won, yes. and there's the need of doing investment. Alafu unajua Ram kuna watu watoshekangi. Unapata ume gamble, alafu umepata ume gamble na 500 eh. 500 bob ukapata let's say 2000 eh. So hiyo 2000 unataka ku get more. So una una pay na hiyo 2000 yako ati ndio upate more. Na mind you unaweza pay na hiyo 2000 ukose kupata. Una, una, una get. Mm. Now, what I can say, uh, Ram, uh, before I was saying this, something called impulse control disorder. What is that? That is a, it's a disorder whereby how na control to what you really feel like you want to. Ukitaka ku, ukitaka kufanya kitu ni mind yako inaku drive. So, kama ni gambling umekelea 2000, wekelea yote. Kama ni... Is, 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 is gambling a mental illness? G- gambling addiction? Uh, no, it's not to that extreme. <laughs> it's not, it causes mental illness. Uh, it it, it, it mental causes, it's yeah. not, but it causes it mental illness. It causes mental illness. Yeah, it causes depression. Okay. What wanna do wanna gambling? What wanna do wanna What wanna do wanna gambling? Because I'm not sure happy pesa. I'm going to I'm going to loans. Nyumba imeenda, bibi na ototo wako hapo. Hadafanya nini? I want us to look at, 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 at this particular scenario here. Um, we have those who have gotten into gambling mm. uh, because they are, you know, out of customers. Yes. But now there's this, there's this other side. Mm. Yeah. Those who now promote gambling. And uh, you know, uh, and 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 uh, in as much as we are talking about people who go gamble, yeah. there are those who promote it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Like us. Like Aji? Like us, like our IT world. I, I, IT, yes, like IT. You know, uh, for us it's business. Uh, one of my friends is also running an IT company. Yes. The one who did oh, debate. Mm. And earned a, gr- a good amount of money from developing those software. So that's why you're telling people to go gamble? No, no, no. That's not the reason. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. That's not the reason why I'm telling people to go gamble. Mm. But number one, you need to look at both sides, both sides yes. of gambling. Yes, yes. Number one, it gives us business. Number two, is a source of money for government. I had last year from gambling, government earned four billion. Mm. Four billion from gambling, in form okay. of tax. Huh. You're seeing. So uh-huh. it's a source of revenue for uh, our government, which is a good thing. But at the same time, on our youths, there's social uh, impact on it. Impact, yeah. Kunaile pressure. But uh, mm. those people who promote it, number one, they have their own interest. Which is earning money at the end of the day. Mm. They, they want to earn money, yes, yes. And, uh, uh, because they promote it. Yes, yes. But at the same time, actually, they are they are selling. Mm. Yeah. I can say yes. Yeah. They are sell, They are selling it. Yes. But there are those who are buying it, yeah. who also want to earn money. Mm. And you wonder who among these two is going to earn. Both will uh, learn. Both will learn. If you invest <laughs> <laughs> from the four billion, I'm very sure uh. there's at least maybe one billion that got back to the community mm. or to the guys who have gambled. Uh-huh. I'm very sure there's one billion that came back. All right. So and not everyone will win. Even not every business succeeds. Yes. So if uh, Ram you're gambling, that's a business for you. Yeah. It might fail or it might succeed. So is there something like uh, gambling for fun? Yes. I just want to go gamble because I feel um, yeah. I'm free. So I'm, I'm so, I have some cash. So you know, I need, let me just gamble for fun. Is there something yes. like gambling yes. for fun? Yes. Let me tell you, Ram. Mm-hmm. In casino number one, if you go, I've been there. In casino, if you go, you get free food and free, free drinks with your guest. Free food? Yes. Uh, if you go to a casino, you'll get free uh, food and free drinks. To say to go to car No, you come with your given allowance of one guest. Oh, so if you're going with him now, yeah. he must be a, a gambler also. 
so I can come with you and then we'll get free food and free drinks. And then now we start gambling. <laughs> so number one, people go there to get free food and free drinks, number one. Okay. Number two is a form of networking. Mm. Uh. Gambling casino places have high people. Yep. So you may you may even get the president over there. Mm. My goodness. Yeah, you can. So it's a form of networking. It's like golfing. Yeah. So by the time I'm going to a certain casino, mm. I'm very sure I'll come out with a network. That tomorrow I'll call and get business. Uh-huh. You're saying so. At times it's fun. At times it's a form of getting yeah. networks. So, so, so guys, uh, from if if watching us from home, we are talking about youth and, youth and gambling. Yes. What is it that we are looking into here? What What are the the things that are uh, covered in this spectrum? Mm. Uh, why do youths gamble? Are there benefits? Are there losses? Are there profits? Why? Engage with us. Keep talking to us. Go to Facebook, uh, to White Fever Channel. Drop in your comment on the comment section. I shall sample a few of those comments as we continue <coughs> with this particular conversation. Uh, I'm seeing somebody. Uh, let me read this. Uh, I'll only read this one, and then we shall read others later. All right. Havana, Becca, and Asamba. Gambling is among the major sins. The major sins. Yes, it's 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 in the Bible. I think it was condemned. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Actually, okay, 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 I'm be a, a pastor or a religious person about gambling at a Kambia, that's a, no, it's a sin. Also, in Quran, uh, you don't gamble. In Sharia laws, uh-huh. you don't gamble. So it's a sin. On so another, you should discourage it. If you well, follow the religious... Uh, first part, part, not everybody is religious at the end of the day, Ram. Hmm. See, Kilamba is religious. It's a matter of you as an individual. You may be religious, but as you said, Come in a copy business, come in a copy job. Then why not? You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, excuse the rub, this is a fault. But at the end of the day, let me tell you something. Kuna watu ram wame wame gamble, na wame jenga nyumba, waka buy gari, waka na biashara, na gambling. There's an Uber guy who told me I didn't know gari yake na pesa ya bet. Ah. So it depends on an individual. Una fa wangale the two sides of it. So what some consider sin yes. is actually righteous for another. For another. Ram, I'm telling you, in business, 85, 85% of startups yes. always fall. Same thing as this. Uh-huh. If you make irrational decisions, like I'm gambling on 13 games, mm. you can expect to win. You will not gamble with one match, one take 10,000, yeah. win 20,000. Mm. That's fine. Tulia. Kesho tulia, ekelea tena. Yeah. I, I, I want us to look at the effects of gambling. Um, how deep can it go and how badly can it bruise someone? Uh, yeah, I can mention that. Uh, let's mention about the family, mm. uh, which I had just mentioned. Kuna uh, mzazi, wazazi, like the mom or the dad, eh? mm. uh, wana gamble on the school fees ya mtoto. Unajosa hii shule zimefungwa ramba, yeah. uh, but mm. wanafakuri open next week. Mm. So unapata mzazi, anashino how will he or she get money to kurudisha huyu mtu hii shule. Mm. So anajipata ana, ana, ana na ile mindset ya anataka kugamble, maybe hiyo pesa ata gamble, it add to school fees and everything. So I'd say it has a negative effect in mm. it. Too much of something, Ram, is what? Dangerous. It's poisonous. Poisonous. Very dangerous. Mm-hmm. You can do it too much, which will lead to a very bad and serious thing, but you can do it with control. Gambling pay kona self-control. Usikuwe hapo all, every time, every single day, uu unafikiria tu gambling. Uko job, yeah. how, una, una, una sinzia ukiwa job kwa sababu usikuwa ujalala, uliko una gamble. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Na maybe hata uku win. You understand? Family, ma familia wana, 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 families break up ama wana divorce because of gambling. Because, number one, hakuna structure. Mzee ameenda job, ametoka ame job, badala kuenda home, amepitia casino, amepitia mahalis, anaka kubet. Yeah. So job ameenda ku gamble casino alafu anafika nyumbani late bibi anafikiria ameenda kuna wanaume ama kuna wanawake wengine but sasa bona aliko ameenda ku gamble na mimi hata kuhi na kuna stress kama ni the 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 ma the hizo ma hizo vitu za marriage like lazima u sexually and everything kwa bibi yako ha perform kwa sababu gani hako na pressure so hata yeah. bibi mwenyewe ana feel why the need of me having kuna ni gani amekuwa na wewe kama kila wakati unakuanga tu gambling hata you don't make time for your wife or your yeah. family you understand if it's yeah. for the youth hauna time ya kusoma kusoma ni nini si unaweza enda nyumbani ukae nyumbani time ya examination unaenda ulipe tu lecturer yeah. to graduate juu uko na pesa umekuke gamble 
but that's a negative <laughs> side of it. Iki kuingia in a psychological perspective that we may take to be the main thing at it to push life. Hauna aja kwenda class. Maybe kuna studia nasema, eh, hey, mimi sina aja kwenda class. Mina gambo unapata pesa. Si, si lazima nifanya enter an exam. But this should not be the case. Yes. Should not be the case. It should be, it should not be the case. You're, because you're breaking families. Yes. You're uh, breaking your own future. Yes. You're destroying it. Yes. With your own hands. Yes. I want us to, to, to look at uh, <coughs> this. Uh, unless you, you have something about uh, the effects of gambling? Before you touch on something else? I look at it from the positive side. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the positive side. <laughs> tell me the positive side, Dan. Source of revenue for uh -huh. government. Uh -huh. Source of revenue for a tea company like ours. Mm -hmm. It's a source of revenue for people who gamble rationally. Mm. But at the same time, it's a, it has the negativity. At the end of, the, of it, it causes mental health <laughs> issues, <laughs> such as depression. Yes. Uh, suicidal issues. Yes. Uh -huh. People have killed themselves because they have lost a couple, a lot of money. Anxiety. Yes. But uh, mm. I always tell people, everything that is bad has the good side of it. Okay. Don't always look gambling as a bad thing. Mm, mm. You also look at it from the good side of it. Mm. It all depends on an individual. No matter when you lose your soul, you can lose a million as a support. You can say, "Masi yezi ambi amto support." You have to look at the both sides. It's upon you to decide. You weigh. You weigh. It's upon you. So, so if you're weighing, it means we need to look at uh, regulation. Yes, yes. Correct. Yes. Regulations. Number two, uh, companies should come up with things that. Also help the youths, yes, yes. especially on the betting of football. Mm. Help the youths get information yeah. on a rational way of betting. Yes. Like mm. even the government should come up with a regulation. By the time I'm gambling, mm. I should have go for training or maybe I should have read certain things to get information of things that I, I gamble on. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that will help a lot in reducing mm. cases of losing money. Because if I have information uh -huh. of how I'm supposed to bet. Yeah. Chances are very minimal of me losing that money. So, so, do you feel like we need like to have? You see, before you go and buy an alcohol, mm. an al alcoholic drink, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, there's that label. Yes. Not for sales to persons under the age of 18. 18 years, Should yes. we have such kind of, uh, you, you know, words written somewhere? In, you know, these gambling yes. uh, places. Written, I, I, I've mm. never gone very there, so I don't know. Very important. important. Number one, when you sign up, you see there. Are you above 18? Huh. And then you tick it. I'm above 18. Okay. So ah. it's always written. Even on terms and conditions. The it terms are It's always written. So, reg so, so um, these companies, yes. do they regulate? Is it regulated? Do the companies yes, that... There's Betting Act 2018 ah. yes. that has various regulations that guide the betting companies on how to maneuver uh -huh, uh -huh. on the ground. All right. Like number one, if you're above eight, below 18, you mm. cannot gamble. Yeah. Number two, you cannot stake above twenty thousand. You or you cannot stake above twenty. Nowadays, you can't stake above twenty thousand. So these guys who we are hearing is usually a two hundred thousand. You in Alieka, in one stake, you can never stake above twenty thousand. Oh, so you, you are Alieka, Alafa Kaongeza, Alafa Kaongeza. Yeah. Kitambo, you could even stake even up to ten million in one stake. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Um, what about the government? I believe the government has a role to play in terms of uh, regulation. Before I come to you, yes, uh, Anthony, yes. then okay. you, you give right. your voice. Okay. Uh, the, the government, yes, yes. in terms of regulation, yeah. um, the role of the government, what is your, uh, you can add your voice in, in, in regards to that? The government is playing a big role in uh, regulating the gambling sector because, mm -hmm. number one, they've imposed serious taxes yeah. to reduce, number one, Numbers of companies that are coming on board. Mm. Number two, uh, now gambling sector is treated like an investment sector, like um, like the forex sector. Mm. For you to open a forex company, there are certain licenses that you need to get from the government. Number two, you also need to have a certain amount of reserve. Mm -hmm. I think it's about like 200 million. Mm. All right. So that if in case that you go bankrupt and people have won, mm. assume that right now sport pesa <coughs> or maybe Odibet. Mm. You have staked, and then they have staked a jackpot, and then people have won that jackpot, yeah. and they don't have that money. Yeah. So they have, cap they have come up with things like those. Number three, they are trying to reduce numbers of company, number of betting companies in the country. Uh -huh. That's a good thing. There's a time that there are so many, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Now, as a counseling psychologist, yes. a psychologist uh -huh. we need regulation even in our own setup. Yep as youths yep. in the family setup, in the societal setup. Yeah. Um, 
if the setup if if there is a regulation mm. at the government level mm. at the national level yes. and in the organizational level mm. do we need setups that regulate gambling in the societal level and especially in the family and how can we achieve that uh, I'd say uh, we need we need regulations ka ko family sana sana ko family you know our youths uh, when you wana ka nyumbani na wazazi mm -hmm. you know parents uh, I believe parents really play a big uh, role in how you raise up your child eh? yeah. una raise him toto uh, if you as a parent you don't ushugulikangi uh, na what your kid does eh unapata ndo maana watoto wengi sasa hii wana watch ama wana get into very dangerous stuff so if you as a parent you don't watch or you don't take much attention on what your kid does on, your, on the phone wewe uko pale unajua kwa simu uko pale class anaingia to class anafanya assignment if you don't check up on your kid uh, what 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 he or she does eh, kwa simu it will really impact unaweza kuna pata unaona kama hiyo amesema if uh, una tick kama uko above 18 una tick na atajua uh, watajua aje kama uko above 18 how will they know mm, it's a bit hard it will be tricky Because right you know now these even kids have phones exactly so mtoto wako yeah. 16 anaweza bet yes, yes. you see Mm -hmm. You understand? So, so, so the parents, parents should need to like uh, keep in touch, monitor, and monitor, or, or even betting companies yes. should come up with a way like you scan your ID. Yes. You scan your ID yes. and also take a picture of yourself mm -hmm. before you are given access into the site. Mm. They have to verify number one, whatever pictures in that ID is you. Mm -hmm. And then now they give you access credential to enter into the site. In casinos do they do you carry your ID? No you can't. Yeah you can't enter if you are below 25. We do you know unasha ID. Below be, below. No, no, you when you change ID cuz most casinos are more of a high profile place. So, so you so so kama mimi uh, wanajua je niko below niko below 25? Eh hawezi jua. Ngoja ngoja. Umesema you cannot enter <laughs> yeah. a casino be below 18 or below 25. 25. 25. Below 25. Yes, yes. But you know nowadays kids wanna grow. Wanakuwa Because wendo kuna mlikubwa. Wendo kuna mlikubwa. Yes yes. Yeah, so it's families on uh, my parents should check up on what they kid do on the phone. Na pia when you are university uh, don't get into something that you don't know about. See seek one's information about it. See get to kitu kinya ujui. Yeah. And 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 uh, I, I want us to take a short break. Yes. But but after this I want us to touch on something here. Is it possible for you to know someone who is actually gambling? Parents are struggling out, outside here to get mm. money. Yes. Unashtuka to all of a sudden pesa kuna. Mm. You, 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 you keep getting calls. Yes. Ati oh mom, siyo hii pesa ilipotea ama hii imeisha. Mm. Ama you keep getting uh, messages from your son or your daughter mm. that school fees imeongezewa. Kumbe hakuna school fees. Yeah. I imeongezewa ama there is a trip somewhere. Kumbe <laughs> hakuna trip. Yeah. Atlas nataka na ingine. Atlas nataka na ingine. Ah wanataka Bansen Bana. Na 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 siju siju si siju ni ni ka novel. Aitisha na mwalimu. Ile ni mwalimu. Yet your child is gambling. After this break we'll be back. You'll tell us is it possible for someone to know a gambling person tunasema huyu naye ana gambo yeah huyu ana gambo utajuaje and after that period nafuta you here he gambling at what point can you stop it tunasema tu hii na commission keep that shit going that shit is part of show on twitter at ramaguko at world of channel is where you can find us keep texting keep tweeting after this we'll be back with much more this is power talk Y254 imagine Y254 imagine A very good morning to you thank you so much for being part of this up oh, good afternoon thank you for being part of this show if at all you're just joining us this is power talk my name is Rama Guko you're just time for, for the uh, next part of this conversation before we were we went on that break we were talking about uh, regulations that have been set by government and institutions in regards to government to, to gambling yeah. today it's all about understanding youth and gambling 
And I want to see what people are saying on our social media handles. Uh, the hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Rambaguko and at Y254 Channel is where you can find us. We've posted a, uh, you know, a, a post on our, on our Facebook page. Uh, ensure that you head over there and give us your thoughts and your comments. Uh, this is a pro, uh, a pro producer Mogusta Babu and as a man watch from County 001 kwa Mombasani asante, asante sana mwana Havana Baker alisha comment up via red a red history uh, uh Yvonne, I think this is Yvonne, wishi and I am a victim of it gambling I mean no I make a I'm a victim so uh, people are, uh, are are actually uh, affected in this digital age young people are exposed to gambling uh, more than ever before so um, many are affected by this and we're asking the question where uh, we are to uh, as we talk about gambling how has it affected you from wherever you're watching from I'm, I'm with Anthony and Jagger and uh, Daniel Kibet right here in studio so a uh, gentleman yes. before we went on that break mm. yes. we were talking about regulations yes. and uh, uh, before we move to another thing the government had uh, increased taxes mm. yes, yes. on uh, uh, gambling yes um, do you think that was a solution or uh, has it actually helped in a way Anthony Anthony uh, I can say in a way it has helped cuz mm -hmm. sasa kama wange increase tax ama kama wange kuwa make a tax in the first place gambling mm -hmm. ingekuwa too much and everybody could be doing it anapata pesa kila kitu unajua forex money I, I don't know if you will concur forex money inakuwa taxable yes it is taxable, taxable yeah. but not that much compared yes, yes. to the gambling yeah. side of it mm -hmm. okay yeah, so right. i'd say yeah that's yeah. everything yeah yeah, yeah message yeah, sana cuz number 1 uh, when excise it was excise duty actually that was imposed hmm. so what it implied is number 1 if you bet on things that i think was below 1000 bob hmm. it couldn't give you money it was giving you a negative or something less than your amount you have to take <laughs> so, the 1000 but so, you'll so get you'll, 800 the stakes must be high yeah the stakes must be higher so number 1 you'll get people walikuwa nasema ah kuna jaga ni bet na na lose pesa na ikale 1000 bob but at the end of the day nitapata 800 bob you're saying you've not gained anything. Actually, you've lost your money. Mm -hmm. So it discouraged a lot of people from gambling. Because many people cannot afford yes, a yes. lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About 500, 200. Can you tau. Tau. Okay. So it did discourage a lot of people from gambling. So it really helped. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two, mm -hmm. also, a lot of companies were shut down because of that. Because mm -hmm. they couldn't afford. Now, them, their taxes were increased. There was corporation tax that was imposed on those companies and all that. So a lot mm -hmm. of companies were shut down. Mm -hmm. So it didn't, you know, Kitambo, what it used to be to happen is, una gamble in different sites. Game mm. you unaekelea Odibet, unaekelea Sport Pesa, unaekelea Sjibetika, unaekelea Wapi. Mm. So unapata umekelea karibu 500 bob in a day on mm. one game or in one stick. Mm. So size there may be like seven betting companies. Mm. So it may reduce your chances of people gambling a lot also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. So um, I think it's, it's up to us as, as a society to find out how we can be able to regulate it especially among the youth. Yes. Uh, I think because it's, for me, I think I always say, mm. what is law? Law is the moral obligation. Yeah. I always yeah. say, Ram, if I feel like mm. if I hit you, that is wrong, then that is, that is law. It is lawful for you. Yes. So it needs to come from you. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things that you're not even told by someone that those things are bad. Mm. Though, yes. uh, you know, people will say common sense is not common to everyone. Mm -hmm. But I think there's things that are basic that are common to everyone. Yes. Um, uh, uh, <coughs> I want us to look at a few things that people ought not to do when gambling. The do's and the don'ts yeah. of gambling. That he will see fine. For example, don't gamble your house, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't gamble your house. Utalala wapi? Utarent nyumbako. You know, gambling started way earlier when we were kids. Unakai vichi nanza, ntakushinda isabu. Ntakushinda isabu ramu. Tubet yo. Tubet. Tubet yo. Tubet. You started from that level. Yeah. Of ntakushinda isabu. And then you're like, tubet yo. So I'm trying to prove to you that ntakushinda. That confidence of I will win. Uh, so you see, uh, uh, so it started from way back. Yes. That's a culture. It's like corruption. Corruption is so a we, we were learning it pole pole. unconsciously. Yes, unconsciously. yes. Yeah. Mm. I, sometimes, sometimes parents would say mm. that, how to weza? 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 How to weza?
by scale. Yeah. Is, is that gambling? Yeah. Uh, kind of. In a way. Yeah. In a way. In yes. A way. Unconsciously. The do's and the don'ts of gambling. Because this is where now, to uh, Nasuma <laughs> Vilivio, mm. someone in the western side, Zalibet Bibiake. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is so sad mzee una una bet aje vitu vingine unajua hata kama ni kubet kuna vitu wezi bet ni kama uniambie u bet u bet kiatu yako moja after this show u bet kiatu yako moja na socks so kama ni unatambia hata una kiatu moja na socks kuna vitu vingine tu ni ziko realistic asema maniu kishinda wallahi unaenda na bibi yangu hata by the way naona umetaja Man U. Nimeona wengi wanasemanga Arsenal wakishinda mimi nitatoa shati nitembee town mzima Nairobi CBD. Arsenal imeshinda. Na unajua Arsenal kushinda inakuanga. I know, you, you think someone is a, a bad man or akitenda tao kumbe ni better li the bet. Mm. Ali prove ya watu social media na akasema mimi nakwambia Arsenal ikishinda nitatoa shati na nizunguke tao na niambia watu vile Arsenal imeweza. What do you think about this thing of people betting their uh, betting off their husbands and their wives? Uh, it's bad for sure because mm. uh, number one, uh, we always say when you're investing, invest with five percent of your value. Yes. Maybe I can more than that. Exactly. Uh, more than that value. Actually, since some people are betting their husbands away because mostly it's always scare you. Now it's good you have touched gender. Very few ladies do gambling. Yes. Very few ladies do gambling, and those that do gambling, mm. I think it is more of financial pressure to them. And then they felt this is an easier way of getting money. Mm -hmm. But very few ladies bet. I think even it's no more than 1% of that, of that mm -hmm. gender. Mm -hmm. But those who do, maybe I'm a single mom. And I feel I'm all alone. You can bet school fees. School fees, now what do you bet? Sana. What do you bet? What do you bet school fees? You know what, <laughs> what happens is maybe when I was at campus, I got a school fees in 35,000. But you're 35,000. No, no, lakini ni kiyeka ita 35,000 kwa gemi ya manu na asenali. Sineza pata ikuwe 8. Sineza pata ikuwe 8. So like let that 5,000. No, meka hapo. You are like... You know, gambling made people become fan of football. Automatically. Yes. So unakai vichu na angalia. Wana bawa kwaze meingia, manu mechapo. Naluko mekelea mani. Bawa ya pili meingia. Naluko mesama mani itashinda. Mani itashinda. Sa hizi mani mepigo baumbili. Mani mepigo baumbili. Na half time mepifika. Ndi nafika half time. Au kwa aja mawa itashinda ikitu. Aja mawa itashinda ikitu. Inaisha. School fees imeenda. Na hapo ndi okijana. Depression. Now, after that, after that 5,000 imeenda sasa. Unanza kupigia ram. Ram. Sasa ni pati miatano. Najwa nita rubishia ita 5,000. Sasa the aim is nisa kurudishia ita 5,000. Achi ngodi hile. Hii game ina kam. Hmm. He gave me an account. Lazima ndirudishe yo pesa. Lazima ndirudishe yo pesa. Ndirudishe yo 35,000. Rent inaenda. Ingine inaenda. Na nimependa vila meguzilia because hiyo ndi wasi wengi ya wajwira. Watu wengi ya wana kuwanga na hile, as I mentioned, wako na hile mentality ya akienda kubet ama akienda kugamble, positive side, ata win. Ajui the risk side of it, na which is bad. Before you do anything, not only gambling, unafaa kujua itatokea kitu kipoa na kitu kibaya the next thing you know the landlord is calling you is on your neck and akuru za copy rent mm. kumbe you had bet all the money away yes yes bibi yako anakuuliza pesa ya nyumba iko wapi iko wapi ulikuwa no. nafaa ununulie mtoto pampas ulipie mtoto school fees mm. ulipe rent yes. yote imeenda kwa betting yes bibi anachoka bibi anachoka hapo ndio familia navunjika navunjika i think i think you should come up with the training model of gambling because gambling will never stop. Yes. As much as we will talk about it day in day out, mm. government comes up with the regulations, it will never stop. Because it runs from way I think it's been there since even after before, before Jesus. Yeah. It has been there before Christ. So it's something that will be there. You will leave this earth and leave it. So I think it's about a matter of coming up with the training. The same way people in forex are trained, mm. the same way there is entrepreneurial classes. Yeah. The same way they will be betting classes. So unapata unasomesha certificate ama diploma in gambling. Na funzo sa kubet. Diploma in gambling. You know the people who are called, I'm an actuary, now a past actuary, most people who do now those modeling of gambling, they're called bookmakers. Yeah. And it's a very serious maths that happened there. Serious mathematics. By the time I come up with an odd of 2.5, I've done a lot of calculation behind the scenes. Come up with different things known as algorithm and all that. So we should train more people to become bookmakers.
Because by the time you're a bookmaker, I'm very sure you can win. So, so, so you feel like in Africa, you come a curriculum? Yeah, <laughs> even be, have a bachelor yeah. degree in that. Yeah. Of book, becoming a bookmaker. Yes. Because mm. yeah, by the time you're a bookmaker, yeah. Ram, I'm telling you, um, chances are very minimal of you losing. Because you understand the nitty gritties. My goodness. But sasa tu wana kimbilele pressure. Pressure mingi. Bishti yangu wa megambo la kapata do. So tami pia mini niende hapo ni. Kuna majama wako banking kwanza. Someone, a friend of mine who is in banking, was telling me. Now you think, he was telling me, he thought the reason that he was in banking, he understand the forex industry. Now it gave him the urge of not doing forex market. Jama alipoteza 2 million. Now, there are, there are people who ninasikia hapa nje. Jama... And and I I was wondering whether it is true or not. Yeah. Until I saw a real life thing. What I was I won two million. The watchman. The watchman. Watchman, brother. Watchman. I got two million. Yes, yes. Now you must be a bado. Bado. It's very possible. It's possible. It's very possible. Is, is there any psychological perspective of gambling? Yes, there is. Huh. Iki to a level of addiction. Because gambling, you can be an addict. Kama vi unaza kuwa addict ya drugs and alcohol, yeah. unaza kuwa addict to gambling. And it is so easy for you to be an addict of gambling. Kama, kama, huja put into perspective that what are you doing? Una, una gamble kwa nini? I, I want us to look at this perspective of realizing or picking up some of this. Um, if we were, to, if we were, we were talking about health, mm. we get some signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. let's look at the signs and symptoms of a gambler. Of a gambler. Number one. Unajua huyu kijana huyu ni wa kuharibu pesa huyu. Don't give. Unajua yao gamblers wa wapati pesa. Wapati pesa. Number one. Idleness. The side of a gambler. Number two. Anapenda sana kumongia story about. Sana. Ukiwala jamaa. Kila time mnaka hivi chili. There's nothing that will come out. Kama si. Manu. Arsenal. Mbede kuna tennis asubui. Hmm? Number three, jama kila sana kuitisha 50 bob. You know, Ram, by the time I'm calling you, na kuitisha pesa yiko la adabu. Pesa yiko la liba rent. Pesa yiko la chakula. Ya wana 50 bob. 50 bob. Pesa yiko la liba rent. Uko naka 50 bob hapo liyeke. Wala veri, uyo li gambla. Uyo li science and symptoms ya gambla. Yes. Uko naka 50 bob wezi kata kupatia. Yes. I have a friend who who always tells me that we see that our pesa to come and bob. Oh, the man is gambler. I got a friend who is into of a gambler. No, okay. Hey, gambler zote. Awe ni gambler. Limeja ajia kwambia. Ajia admit. Ajia kazi ni reality ni gambler. Anazuma usidharau. Ata kama ni one bomb. Ukienda kwa swamaki. Kama zile masuito na kupatia. Uzi kubali suiti. Yodo yurudishu. Yurudishu. Uwe ni gambler. That's a gambler. Yes. Uwe ni gambler. I think there was a site that used to stake three bomb. You can stake three bomb. I think there was a site. I forgot the name. Yeah, you'll go neither to stake three bomb. Nasikuizi watu wana spin. Umesikia yu story ya watu kuspin, nakelea 50 bobu, na spin yu kitu inaenda. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Umesikia yu story ya kuspin. Kwanza ndi yuko common nowadays na majana. How can a parent know that their child is gambling? Number one, uyu kijana yako kila wakati anakuitisha pesa, ati pesa imeisha, anataka to be too weird to, to, it would have to make sense, anakuitisha pesa ya kitu kido. Alafu pesa anakuitisha ni hiyo kama amesema. Tu pesa kidogo, akuitisha pesa mingi. Alafu the next time anandela kuitisha. Alafu another thing, halali. Kama anakaku wako, halali. Hakuko the whole night. Kama ni mna watch news, anakuambia kuna game, inaendelea sahi. Na ukieka yu game, hako wapa na simu yake sasa. Because they're gambling there. Huh? You advise to parents. What, how can they know that their child is gambling? Iyo, unapata pesa yako 50 bobs unapotea kwa nyumba kila time. See, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, upati pesa zako. Number two, that guy is not even interested in looking for job if he's yes. above 18. Yes. He's never interested. Unapatia job offers unamambia kijana angu. Tengeneza CV, I have someone who I know in this company. Tumtumia. Nakambia pana mama, I'm okay. I'm okay, niko sawa. 
that your son or your daughter most probably your son is a gambler yes lakini <coughs> now um allow me to be the devil's advocate <coughs> <coughs> Sasa zingine unasikia tu kama kuna shetani nyingine na kuita. Ugambo. Ugambo. Kama kuna shetani tu ina kuita. It's all over. Yeah. Una you wake up in the morning and then you check your phone there is that text. Yeah. Ah. You 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 go on TV, you open the the TV the adverts are so so many. Yeah, any gamble in a town, tembea kwa barabara. See you what win 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 mm. win. You know, ah, are they also um, things that we can call triggers mm. huh? yeah, and, sure. and, you know and how can we prevent ourselves from you know or, or, or how can we resist i, I think number one mm. the government should you see things like you getting sms from god bet betika yes. and all that mm. number one government should cap that Yes. The things known bulk SMS, bulk SMS guys, are yeah, the ones mm-hmm. who normally give your numbers to those uh, guys of betting companies. Mm-hmm. So number one, what the government should do is cap that. Yes. Any betting company should not get a sender ID. By sender ID is you get a message written there, Odibet. Should not get a, that access to your contacts. Mm-hmm. If they're doing mm-hmm. advertisements, so they can do billboards and all that. But you see, me getting SMS every day, Odibet Betika. Is now giving me an urge by this. You can try this. Mm. Let me try this. <laughs> you see, because you know, most kids, most youths of nowadays, number one, they rarely watch TV. Mm. And if they do, mm. utapata kwa Netflix. Yes. On Netflix, on a very rare occasion, will you get advertisements but, of betting? But these yeah. adverts are, sometimes I look at my phone, mm-hmm. maybe I'm on Facebook, and then I see just a small thing, pale chini. Oh, or debate. Yeah, mm. and, and then you, you, even if you're on, on, on your computer, you see that thing which pops up, and then you have to close it every time. Uh, pops yeah. up, yeah, you have to close it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Are they also triggers? Yes, yes they, they are. are. They are triggers because yeah. that's how killer killer time you open YouTube before your video you play. That's just that, 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 that add in a play. Once I come behind you next, skip. Yeah. Inaenda yote yeah. kale kayo. Sasa una have to kuiwatch. Sasa ile kuiwatch kila wakati ukiwatch videos, ukiona hizo manini hizo ziki pop up, you will get that uh that kind of interest you curious to try it what would be your advice to people who want to stop gambling uh, Anthony? uh number one i'd tell you this <laughs> don't be idle don't be idle uh the bible in asema an idle mind is the devil's workshop usikuwa idle get something you can do uh, don't usichague pesa au usichague kazi kwa sababu kazi ni kazi usiseme hawezi fanya kazi fulani ati juu nataka kugamble do it don't be alone most of the time just get something that inaku kila wakati unakuwa busy and your mind is occupied ndio usifikirie vitu zitaku lead to loss of money umekula fee vitu kama hizo mm. and yes. sometimes when people even commit suicide because yes. umegambo yes umechukua madeni yes. loans so yes. many loans watu wanakutafuta kila pali simu hawezi shika yes <laughs> yeah, number ujui uh, number ujui mm. yes and they end up even committing people suicide. gamble even in their life ana gamble na life yake anakuambia mimi nakwambia hiki kitu hiki kitu akiwa lai mimi najua ana gamble na life yake like literally gambling with you you know there, there are some things uh, ram in a psychological perspective kuna vitu vingine ukifeed your mind with kila wakati itakuwa ina run alafu mm-hmm. you know you, you know ram people who, who gamble and uh, wanna lose uh, in as a cost trauma most of the time because yeah. every time you ukilala each and every time uko pale ina ring kwa mind yako ume lose ume lose ume lose so you you feel yourself unajifeel unajiona kama loser yeah. so kila wakati inaku, inakuwa traumatic na yeah, that trauma yeah, can yeah. lead to what we call PTSD advice to yes. those who want to stop gambling uh, number one, as you said don't be idle number two, get a replacement of what you want to do you want to do things on the internet there are other better things that you can do mm-hmm. there's online writing yes mm. The, you can always be doing job applications mm. if you don't have uh, uh, jobs because most people who gamble yeah. most most of them are youths that are, are unemployed mm. so if you feel like you need to do something via internet to my applications mm. one of these fine days you'll get a uh, job offer job offer yes and if you don't get one continue doing the online writing things yeah yeah continue do something doing, with yeah, yourself continue doing the online writing things you'll get 4000 a day is not little by something that is guaranteed you'll get it yeah mm. yeah when when we have uh, people who are addicted to drugs you know we'll take them to rehabilitation centers mm. yeah, yes, drugs yes, yes. 
lakini those are addicted to gambling kuna rehab center ya gambling hapa Kenya Kenya hakuna hakuna bana hakuna let's be honest hakuna government ina vibe work on that because it's an addiction gambling is a, it can be to an extreme but in a co addiction the same same way mtu wako kwa drugs anaweza ku addicted and if it's an addiction yeah. the government should stop measuring on easy addictions and yeah, people know drugs alcohol they should now measure addiction in variety yeah. gambling addiction is so serious and they should set up hata kama ni rehab mahali waseme this addicts of gambling kuna mahali wanafaa kuenda ama the call number if you feel like you're doing too much of gambling this is the number to call and you get yeah, help yeah yeah yes. yeah yeah Uh, guys it's a, it's, it's a pleasure uh, being with uh, you guys i want us to wrap this conversation up yes. i want to give you 20 seconds 20, 20 seconds 20 seconds very short time each have a final word speak to somebody who's watching you today um, let me start with you uh, uh, dan i'll say gambling is not a bad thing but if you want to continue gambling <laughs> do it rationally get your facts right get information out there there are various information understand what is the need for you to gamble before you gamble But if you don't have the facts right, stop gambling please. Because you lose money. Yes, so what I can say about gambling is kuwa mtu mwenye ako able to take risks vinye zinakuja and don't put 100% of your money or of your salary in gambling. Just have that mindset ya si lazima win na pia unaweza kosa ku lose. So have that na si lazima u gamble pia. If to you gambling is wrong it's fine. If to you gambling is right it's fine. Eka vitu kwa table, sema angalia vinye the positive side of it and the negative side of it and once you've done that I'm more what you want to do. And social media mm-hmm. official Anthony Njenga on Instagram. Yes yes. Facebook Anthony yes, yes. Njenga, YouTube Anthony Njenga. <laughs> 20 seconds in Asia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the Asia. Una gambo na hiyo 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Now I, I, I want us to end with a quote here uh, bring it up please uh, Ron uh-huh. Now uh, gambling you can tell me if you agree with this huh? gambling is a family disease a family disease Yes one person may be addicted but the whole family suffers True Exactly very true, true. You agree yes, very, yes. very very true very true yes, very yes. true <laughs> Yes. Very That brings us to the end of this morning, this morning, this particular conversation. Uh, very big thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in on our what on our watch from Gatanga, uh, Mombasa everywhere. Thank you so much for being part of Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. A very big thanks to Anthony Njanga. Thank you so much my brother. Welcome. Uh, very big thanks to uh, Daniel Asante sana. And a big thanks to each and every one of you for making this show as a, a success thank you to ron pale kwenye kwenye gallery and uh, timo asante sana i salute you guys my brothers thank you to the the whole team a repeat of this show comes again tonight at 10 p.m. my name is ron magoko may god bless you may god bless the work of your hands this is power talk